I'm sure you've all heard by now that Jeremy Lin will be starting in tonight's game against the Dallas Mavericks due to Beverly's injury, which, you know, first of all, I want to say that I feel really, really terrible for Beverly because he's such a hard worker and, you know, you don't want to see any player go down, but especially someone like Beverly, who's such a hard worker and um, just to go down in the first game of the season and the first game of his NBA, you know, the first time he was able to start in the NBA and all of that. So I feel really bad uh, for Beverly. Um, but, you know, that aside, I'm sure a lot of uh, Lynn fans are just happy that Lynn is getting to start again. But there's something about it that doesn't quite uh, make sense to me from a logic standpoint. And I, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that to see if I'm making any sense. So the so if you were of the mindset that Lin should be coming off the bench, and I'm not saying that I agree with this or disagree with this, um, but if you if that's the mindset, which it was the mindset of uh, Mikhail and the Rockets that Lin should be coming off the bench, then the only correct rationale for this is the fact that Jeremy and Harden um, don't quite mesh and um, and Beverly is a better fit for Harden because he doesn't need the ball in his hands as much as Lynn does. And also that um, Lynn is needed more with the second unit to run the show. So I think that's the only, there are other rationales, but I think that's the only correct main rationale for bringing Lynn off the bench. What is an incorrect rationale and a rationale that I will not accept uh, is someone who thinks that Beverly is a better point guard than Lynn, and that's why Beverly is starting over Lynn, and, and that's why Lynn is coming off the bench. That is an incorrect rationale, and a rationale that I will not accept. So, the fact that Beverly is injured does not change anything in terms of Harden and Lynn's fit, and the fact that Lynn is more needed with the second unit. So that being the case, um, if you were to think logically, then it should stand that Aaron Brooks should still be starting, you know, and Lynn should still be coming off the bench. If that's, if you were, you know, and I'm not saying I don't want Lynn to start, but I'm just saying from a logic standpoint, nothing has changed. The fact that Beverly is injured doesn't change anything. It doesn't change um, the fact that um, Lynn and Harden don't mesh and the, and the fact that Lynn is needed more with the second unit, if that's your rationale for bringing Lynn off the bench, which it should be. So the fact that Lynn gets to start now because Beverly is injured, on some level, you're implying that Beverly is a better point guard than Lynn. You're implying that Lin lost his starting position due to a deficiency in his game rather than due to the fact that, you know, he just doesn't fit with Harden. And if you're implying that he lost it due to a deficiency in his game, then that's just an incorrect rationale and, you know, one that I will not accept. But... I think, you know, on some level you can see that why does Lynn get his starting position back when Beverly is injured? Why doesn't Aaron Brooks take over? Because again, nothing has changed. Um, the reason for bringing Lynn off the bench has not changed. So on some level, the fact that Lynn gets his starting position back tells me a little bit, and you know, I'm still not sold on this but I just want to bring it up but it tells me a little bit that Mikhail on some level feels that Beverly is a better or equal point guard to Lynn and I think that's just Jeremy Lynn doubter Jeremy Lynn hater rationale we'll see what happens once Beverly comes back if if Lynn loses his starting position once Beverly comes back, then 
it really does speak to the fact that they were benching Lynn because they favored Beverly over Lynn, not due to some fit issue, or at least um, the fit issue wasn't as much a part of it. It could be that, you know, Mikel saw something in the first game and he felt that he needed Lynn out there with the starting unit. Uh, so that could be a reason. But if that's the case, then Lynn should be able to keep his starting position once Beverly comes back. The only other way I can look at it from a favorable view for Mikhail and the Rockets is that Aaron Brooks hasn't had that much experience playing with the first unit. Or, you know, he didn't really practice with the first unit. And so I think it's a bit of a gamble to... Uh, have Aaron Brooks be the starting point guard, or, or at least I think that's the rationale. I don't agree with that. I think, you know, Aaron Brooks is just as good playing with his first unit as as Beverly is, so I don't really agree with that at all. Um, but I think on some rash, you know, I can kind of see that that's why they would start Lynn over Aaron Brooks and then and then once Beverly comes back, bring Lynn off the bench again. But still, I don't really, you know, I don't really accept that. I think um, Aaron Brooks is just as good playing with the first unit as Beverly would be. I think, you know, um, I think it's more of a fit issue with Lynn rather than um, the skills of Beverly or Aaron Brooks. It's more of Lynn doesn't quite mesh with Harden and Lynn is needed more with the second unit. That's the real reason. So if that's the real reason, then there's no reason um, from a logical standpoint to bring Lynn back into the starting unit um, because nothing has changed. But we'll see. I mean, um, you know, I, I'm still, again, not sold on everything I've talked about in this video. Um, but I just wanted to bring that up because there's something that doesn't logically flow out of this decision to um, start Lynn again after Beverly went down. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get a lot of thumbs down on this video um, <laughs> because a lot of you guys, you know, obviously like the fact that Lynn will be starting. But uh, I just wanted to sort of bring up a thought that I don't think... Um, uh, that I don't think a lot of people are sort of talking about, so... As usual, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think, share the videos, and I will talk to you again soon.